Welcome to the final episode of Friends in Agriculture for 2021. In this Triple XL Harvest Special, we present you all the sights and sounds of Harvest 21. Autumn also marks the start of a new season, as tulip bulbs and wheat are being planted in readiness of a new farming season. We pick up the story early September. On this glorious warm day, a field is being levelled after the onions have been harvested. In the Dutch polders, which are below sea level, it is not only vital that drainage is adequate, the fields also need to be slightly roof-shaped in order to let water run away quickly in case of heavy rainfall. RTK GPS is aiding the operator and showing him where soil should be removed or added. A map has been made in the office and the field height is automatically logged. The GPS system works with an accuracy of 2 centimetres on this 6 metre wide boss levelling machine, pulled by the Fent 942. The sound coming from its MAN engine is a pleasure to the ear of any machinery enthusiast when it pulls away from the headland. On this fine day, onions are also being loaded from the field. We showed you the onion harvest in great detail last year, so we won't go into great length this time. The New Holland tractor belongs to a neighbouring farmer who also co-owns the VSS AMAC onion loader. Potato harvesting is on the agenda at the end of September. Compared to last year, harvesting conditions for the DeWolf Quattro bunker harvester are much more favourable. The Fence 724 tractors are busy carting the crop away using a variety of trailers, such as this Baco, carrying 26 tonnes. The DeWolf harvests four 75 centimetre beds at a time and is fitted with the class Terratrax and a large 125 centimetre rear wheel for equal weight distribution across the field. Two sets of sieving webs remove most of the loose soil. A home topper removes the desiccated home in front of the harvester. by means of a pintle belt thrash is extracted. An elevator moves the crop upwards into the 17.5 cubic metre bunker. A discharge elevator unloads the potatoes gently into the trailer. This 30-tonne behemoth is powered by a 500-horsepower Scania engine and is the largest harvester built by Belgian firm De Wolf. Inside the Class Vista cab, driver Wilbert has an unobstructed view of the harvesting operation in front of him. A series of monitors helps to see all cleaning modules. Yield monitoring, coupled to RTK GPS, is being used to log the yield. Where potato variety Musica is being harvested here.
potatoes are being stored in this storage facility that was built last year. Trailers empty their load into a Breston receiving hopper where it is further cleaned. The one-ton wooden potato boxes are automatically being filled and stacked by a Mechatech box filler. Two forklifts are sufficient for the whole unloading process. In this temperature controlled cold store, they can be stored up to 11 months if needed. Each box is being weighed, so the filling level is always the same. A horizontal elevator acts as a buffer and a vertical elevator lowers down into the box to prevent the potatoes from damaging. It is the 15th of October when we return to the farm. Tulip bulbs are being planted today, which is another job that we didn't catch last year. A whole fleet of Fent tractors is busy, and in the same 40 hectare field, a contractor is putting in drainage pipes using the trenchless interdrain V plough. The Fent 942 is ploughing wheat stubble with the seven furrow Lemkin. After a rain shower, it is unable to run on land, so it is seen ploughing in furrow. There is no time to wait as the bulbs have to be planted now. Contractor Van Diepen, which also carries out the harvesting, is planting the bulbs. Their Fent 724 is using a Copes net planter. The bulbs are being stored in a roof mounted hopper. The beds are 180 centimetres wide. A Fent 516 breaks down the soil using a power harrow. Two layers of net are used and in between the bulbs are placed. Come harvest, both layers of netting will be lifted up and separated. With this system, the bulbs can be harvested with a minimum of soil. A large V-shaped blade moves the loose soil sideways. The nets are placed on the ground and soil is put on top. Raven RTK GPS is used not only for steering the tractor, but also for logging each variety and even the bulb size. A side shift cylinder steers the planter separately from the tractor. Operator Alex can control the hopper and planter. A computer monitors the amount of bulbs planted per meter. On the headlands, the nets are cut off. Fresh boxes are unloaded into the hopper using the front loader. A second Fent 516 is in charge of transporting the boxes. All tractors are kept close together as Martine is ploughing. If a sudden rain shower would occur, the land doesn't get soaked. This field is very variable in soil grade as can be seen.
The small John Deere is being used to subsoil the tracks in between the beds. During winter, rain can get away more quickly and water doesn't lodge in between the beds. Wilbert is using the Fent 943 MT crawler and Gromegna spader combination today. This onion field is being spaded and sown with winter wheat. As it is too wet for the conventional drill to be used, this machine comes into action. It can work under virtually every condition and leaves a nice finish. Thomas is spreading compost when we visit the farm for the last time this year, on October the 28th. On this crisp morning, steam emerges from the warm compost as it is spread across the freshly harvested carrot field. The Fent 930 and Teba HS320 spreader were both purchased last year. A unique feature is its crab steer mode as it moves down the field. Thomas has to load the spreader himself with the Volvo L60F loading shovel that belongs to the farm. With its high tip bucket, it doesn't take long for the 34 ton spreader to be filled. are still being harvested in the same 20 hectare field. Three Fence 724 and VRK box trailers are required to keep the DeWolf ZK4 running. Its capacity is very impressive. As you can see, it uses a similar layout as the potato harvester with class tracks and a rear-mounted Scania engine. Driven torpedoes guide the holm towards the rubber belts that lift the carrots from the ground, four rows at a time. Special scissors separate the carrot from the holm, after which they are separately deposited on conveyor belts. The carrots end up being discharged in boxes and the holm is deposited back onto the field. The carrots are grown on 75 centimetre wide beds, similar to those used for potatoes. You can see how they were made in the second video from this year. The tractor drivers can remotely control the elevator from the DeWolf and also tip the boxes upwards to reduce fall heights.
In the yard, the boxes are quickly levelled and unloaded by a Linda forklift using a double set of forks. They are immediately stored in the cold store for long-term storage. Ultimately, they'll be washed, graded, packed and exported. Empty boxes are put back on the trailer and it's off to the field for another load. As more crop is harvested, compost is being spread so the field can be ploughed and drilled with wheat. We've come to the end of this extra long harvest video. It is also the final video for this year. Over the course of two years, we have shown you almost all jobs carried out at Franz and Agriculture. As the fields become empty, there is no time to slow down. Processing the potatoes, onions and carrots will continue all winter. Franzen and sister company Holland Food Trade export the produce all over the world. Maintenance is another important task for the winter months. Thank you for watching on behalf of the whole friends and team. Please let us know what you think about the video. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting videos about farming in Holland.